Hey there guys, Global here. I've been using Double One Game Creator for over 10 years now, so I know this engine pretty well, but I noticed there aren't too many tutorials online, especially any covering networking specifically, so I figured I'd take a crack at it. So this is going to be a series of videos or a crash course in Double One Networking. So in this first video, I'd like to explain the concept of how networking works in this engine. I'm not even going to dive into the software just yet, so if you want to skip past the explanation, go ahead and jump to the next video. So with that out of the way, let's discuss the concept. When it comes to networking for video games, there's typically two main ways to do it. You can use a dedicated server that's either running on a computer at your house or on a virtual private server, otherwise known as a VPS. Which if you're not familiar, a VPS is a virtual server that you can rent through a service, typically via a monthly or annual subscription. Now don't ask me which VPS service to go through, I've never actually used one myself, so I don't know which ones are good or bad. The only advice I can offer is make sure it runs Windows, because as of right now I believe that's the only platform that can run the dedicated server, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So like I said, the first main way to do networking for a game is with a dedicated server. You run that somewhere, and clients or players connect to it. This would typically be used for game types like MMOs, where the game is running on the server and it syncs with all the clients. The second option is to get rid of the server and use something called peer-to-peer, -peer, or P2P, which just means it has players connecting to each other rather than to a dedicated server. Now for most indie game developers, which should be everyone using this engine, I figure they're probably going to want to make a 2-4 to four player co-op game, not some big MMO, so P2P probably sounds like the better option most of the time. Unfortunately, as of right now, P2P is not really possible in 001, at least not in terms of a seamless experience you've come to expect from modern games today. Now let me be clear here, P2P is technically possible in this engine, however it would be unnecessarily complex for your players. The player wanting to host a game would most likely have to set up port forwarding on their router and give their public IP address to their friend, who would then have to manually enter it into the game to connect or all players would have to use a third-party VPN application such as LogMe and Hamachi to connect like it's some old PC game. In my opinion, I would not recommend this because there is another option that I think is the better one, which is to still use a dedicated server but have it act as a relay instead. So the concept here is that players connect to the server, a password gets generated on the server and sent back to the player, the player gives that password to their friend, and the friend enters the password which establishes an online session just between those two players. So it's not technically connecting the players to each other, they can't communicate directly, but it's telling the server, hey, these two players are playing together, so redirect network messages between the two of them. So we're able to use one dedicated server to run multiple game sessions. So that's the overall concept of how networking works in 001, and the server relay option is what we're going to be exploring in the later videos. Like the video if you're feeling generous, and subscribe if you want to see more of these 001 tutorials. See you in the next one.